Stephen, thanks for joining us. So from your research, do you believe that we're in a uniquely polarized time? You know, I think the, the sort of polarization and anger that we see in American politics right now is, is certainly at a fever pitch. Um, I, I think, sadly, anger and polarization are kind of common threads throughout American history. So I don't think this vitriol that we're seeing is unique. I think what is unique is the ability for Americans to become angry and to become upset about politics. Uh, we have social media that, that can upset people, and we sort of have echo chambers where we can go and be told what we want to hear. And so I think it's, it's a unique time in the ability for Americans to become angry about politics. Well, and you wrote a book, American Rage, How Anger Shapes Our Politics. So especially relating to the Capitol riots, how does anger shape our politics? So anger does a few things to how Americans engage in the political sphere. So one thing that anger does is it tends to lower our trust in government. In addition to this, it causes Americans to weaken in some commitment to democratic norms and values that are really quite essential to the proper functioning of our government. And so one of those norms is um, sort of accepting people with different points of view. So increasingly, Americans see those who disagree with themselves as opponents to be defeated, rather than as people who have different opinions. The final thing that anger does is it tends to make people loyal to their own party. And so a succinct way to think about this is that an angry voter is a loyal voter. So when you're angry, you're more likely to vote for your own party's slate of candidates up and down the ballot. Well, and in terms of the fallout since the Capitol riot, has anything surprised you? I don't know if I would say I'm terribly surprised, but, but I think it's worth pointing out the fact that how Americans view the riot of last year uh, falls largely along partisan lines. So if you ask Republicans to describe January 6th, 2021, they'll say it was a protest. If you ask Democrats, they'll say it was a riot or an insurrection. So even looking at how we sort of grapple with that event and how we describe it is quite different according to your own political persuasion. So I guess, how does that affect things going forward? It's going to be hard to, to reach any sort of consensus, not only on what happened that day, but how we should move forward as a country, right? The people who stormed the Capitol that day truly believe that the election was fraudulent. In fact, a recent poll conducted by the University of Massachusetts found that 71% of Republicans do not believe Joe Biden was legitimately elected as president of the United States. And so I think the events of last January really underscore how divided we are as a country. And I don't think there's a quick fix here. All right, Stephen Webster, he's an assistant professor of political science at Indiana University Bloomington. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.